I believe that uh, our politicians, and Shelley Pingree in particular, has lost track of what the people need at home. Andy Smith doesn't miss many opportunities to criticize Congresswoman Shelley Pingree. He brought the incumbent Democrat up several times during our conversation in New Gloucester. Early last month, Smith started running these South Park style ads, poking fun at the Congresswoman's trip to Cuba. Shelley Pingree went on a junket with political donor class, with some sketchy Washington not for profit, tried to call it a trade mission, but she didn't pre coordinate it with anybody. Pingree's office takes issue with almost every word in that statement, but before Smith can really take on the Congresswoman, he's got to get past his primary opponent, Dr. Mark Holbrook. The two primarily differ on the issues of abortion. But Roe v. Wade's the law of the land, and, and that's, that's what we have to work with today. And immigration. I do believe that we can vet uh, refugees or asylum seekers. Smith is approaching his 30th year as a naval reservist and tells us he has top secret clearance. He believes there should be strong disincentives to people who come here illegally. Those are the kinds of common sense reforms that we can practice today and help solve that without uh, building a wall out in the middle of nowhere. Smith says he hopes voters will decide that his leadership experience, both in the military and in the business world, make him the better Republican to take on the Democratic incumbent in November. When they look at all the choices and they look at real defense policy, real economic policy, real Second Amendment support, that I, I think they're going to be very comfortable with me and that's why they're going to come out and vote for me in the primary. Andy Smith tells us he does support both Governor LePage and Donald Trump, though not necessarily everything that each one says. We will profile his, uh, Smith's opponent, Mark Holbrook, tomorrow night. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.